pity the poor raccoon that underestimates the danger presented by motor vehicles. Alas, we never knew you. Okay, anyway, so I have a new project and it involves animal bones, as many of my projects do. This one's using some bones from a raccoon that I got last August. Unfortunately, the raccoon's misadventure with a car uh, resulted in its skull being cracked. But it's okay, because I was able to use most of the skull. It must have gotten hit right on the head because it cracked the brain case in half. This project, like many of mine, had its genesis in another project. Um, I'm still working on that. The, the mechanics of it aren't quite there. But I decided to use the Mozzie library for Arduino to generate the sounds that it was going to make. Um, and as I tinkered around with Mozzie, I found that I really liked it. I decided to do something else with Mozzie in the meantime. And um, I found a really nice old cigar box at the thrift store. So this is it. It's just an Arduino with potentiometers and a little amplifier. And it's running Mozzie. But I wanted to use the raccoon skull in it. I really like bones backlit by LEDs because bones are kind of translucent. And so if you put an LED behind them or in them, they light up pretty well. And they, they act like a really good diffuser. My goal was to find a way to fit the raccoon skull inside of this thing. And also, I don't know, maybe five years ago or so, I saw a drone synthesizer online. And I think it was made out of acrylic. It used pink LEDs to light up the inside of the case. And I really, really, really liked that look. And so I've been wanting to do something with pink LEDs and a synthesizer for a while now. So I decided to put together all these things, the cigar box, Mozzie, Arduino, raccoon skull, pink LEDs, and this is what I've got. And so the idea with this is that I kind of wanted it to be a little bit of a surprise when someone opens it. And so the surprise is twofold in that one, there's a raccoon skull, and two, when you open the lid, the light and sound come on. So yeah, why don't I take you through how I put this together? So the first thing I needed to do was glue the skull back together. As I mentioned, this raccoon had been hit by a car and its skull was cracked. I just used some five minute epoxy for this. And you'll see here that I also glue the jaw back together. I didn't end up using the jaw in this project, even though I originally planned to. So I'll just save that for something else in the future. Because I wanted to use an acrylic panel for mounting two of the potentiometers inside of the box, I needed to make some supports for holding it. And so here I'm cutting some small blocks of, out of some scrap cherry I had on my table saw. And I got them just to fit about right. And they fit really perfectly with the Arduino and its amplifier. Like, it, it fit better than I could have planned on. And then I needed to stain them to make them match. And somehow I lost some of my footage here. After I put a coat of tongue oil on them, I put some mahogany gel stain on them too. And it got the color just about right. As you can see here, they, they really match the box good. And there was a lot of soldering in this project, as you might expect. I soldered the Nano onto a piece of perf board. I soldered the, um, the amplifier to the perf board. And then I had to run a bunch of jumpers and solder wires for the potentiometers. Yeah, I only recorded myself soldering two of the potentiometers because there were five and I didn't really need to show the same thing five times. Honestly, this part went a lot better than I would have expected. Uh, usually I kind of have a bad time when I'm soldering to perf board, but this went really well. And first test and it works. I mounted a micro switch on the inside of the box so that the lid would press its lever down when the lid shut. And here I'm just soldering a couple wires on and then soldering it to the perf board so that it controls power going to the Arduino. And we can see it works. And then I drilled holes for the potentiometers. And I started test fitting and things fit, so I glued the skull in. 
I don't have my own laser cutter, but there's one at work, so I use that for cutting the clear panel. And it's all going together. I put a little dab of hot glue on the potentiometers to keep them from spinning around when I dial the knobs. Um, I didn't want to over tighten the nuts because acrylic is really easy to crack. And then just shortening the potentiometer shafts with my Dremel and fitting the knobs. And now that it's all together, let's see how it sounds. Okay, so you're probably wondering why it's all... Okay, so... Take four! Take five! Am I in frame this time? I hope so. I don't want to do another one of these. Fuck. Um, man, I'm umming a lot today. I haven't done one of these videos in a while. Uh, um, 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 and, um... Six? Am I on take six? I don't even know what I'm saying.